Hello, my name is Andrew Wilkinson, and in this just-in-time video short, we're going to look at resetting the layout in Interaction Center Business Manager. Okay, so resetting the ICBM, or Interaction Center Business Manager, layout um, is an important thing because ICBM is an extremely powerful tool that supervisors and business users utilize on a daily basis. Thus, if an issue occurs in the layout that prevents them from being able to use it, then it can be beneficial to know how to reset the layouts. So I'm talking about an issue where, for some reason or another, and this does not happen often, there is a repetitive error or concern that's preventing Interaction Center Business Manager from being used because perhaps there was an issue based on how the views were set up or the workspaces were set up. Um, we're talking about a very corner case scenario here, but there's an issue where we can't even get Business Manager to run because it keeps closing. Well, this just-in-time video short will allow you to reset that layout so that you can stop the error or issue and then be able to continue using it while you contact support and everything. That way there's no downtime here, or at least as little downtime as there possibly needs to be. Also, this can be really useful if there are a bunch of views that people don't really know how to clear out and they just want to start fresh, they can use this tip to do that. Okay, so let's dive right into the product and I will show you how to do this. Okay, before we dive into the product, uh, just a few key points. One, you must have access to the IC server installed directory to reset the layout. The reason being that we do keep the layout files on the IC server. Secondly, once you have access to that IC server install directory, you can get to this file called the IC Business Manager zip file, and it's located on in italics here install drive. That just means whatever your local drive name for the drive um, that IC was installed on. I3 IC client settings. I have username there. So in my case, when I do it in the product, it will be IC admin. This will be whatever username for whom you're trying to reset the layout for ICBM. Then personal storage, then application settings. Finally, fear not, once you have deleted the zip file with these settings, a new one will be recreated as soon as you relaunch the application. So do make sure that you close the application before you delete this zip file. Then when you relaunch it, a new one will be created and it will be vanilla. So let's dive right into the product. Okay, so here I am on the IC server, and you can see this. I'm in Windows Explorer, my computer, IC1 is the name of our IC server, and this can be verified in ICBM. It says that I'm logged into IC1, so I'm on the physical IC server that I am running ICBM on. You can see here I've created multiple views that will be here as I exit or relaunch Interaction Center Business Manager. So, for example, I can exit. I can go to IC Business Manager. Again, we are logging into IC1. And once we're in here, all of these views that I had up are still here. Actually, one is gone now, but that's only because I hadn't filled it out properly. Okay, so I've got my views back. Okay, so Let's say we had a situation where after I added one more view, so let's say I've randomly decided to add one, and I want to add one for license statistics. And then I notice that after license statistics, for one reason or another, suddenly Interaction Center Business Manager starts crashing. And, and I really need to use it, and it's crashing, and I just need to use it for now. Or perhaps I just want to return this to the vanilla setup. Well, you can do this by going onto the IC server. Now, I'm already here, but this will only work on the IC server. Going to the drive or directory that IC was installed on. So for us, it's the D drive, IC, D, and then the folder I3, IC. Then we go to client settings. So again, this is I3, IC client settings. And you'll notice that we have a bunch of folders, one called IC Admin. So we go into this. There's another one called Personal Storage. Inside of that is Application Settings. Once in here, you can see that a zip file has been created called IC Business Manager Zip. 
So if I delete this file, okay, exit Interaction Center Business Manager, notice a new one was created. So actually, just to be sure, I'll delete this. Okay, now as it relaunches, a new zip file will be created upon login. But as you will see here, the views that I had there are now gone. And it's completely vanilla, as if we're opening it for the first time. And then on top of that, if there was an issue caused by adding a specific view or such, this will allow you to continue using it as normal and then fill out uh, your, your issue to support or whatever without having to skip a beat. Thank you so much for attending this just-in-time video short. Please check out all the other ones for a wealth of more information.